Hebrews 2, verse 11 says that he's not ashamed to call us brothers. Oh man, that's that's so powerful. And then he then he then he outdoes himself, so to speak. In verse 12, he goes on to say, "I will tell of your name to my brothers in the midst of the congregation." The word congregation there is ecclesia. That's the word where we get our church from. The gathering, the where the saints gather together. It's there. There's preaching. There's the the, the Eucharist. There's the worship. There's the fellowship. All gathered together in this this one glorious setting of the ecclesia, the congregation. But, but this, this just blows me away. It says that Jesus himself is saying this, is quoting Jesus, I will tell of your name, speaking of the Father, to my brothers. Um, the picture painted here is really wonderful. It's not that Pastor Gary is preaching or, or any, any other pastor you might know. This is Jesus preaching in the congregation. Now he's preaching through men who preach the word of God. He's preaching through pastors who have 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 rightly divided the word of God and are bringing forth expositional teaching on the word of God. He's speaking through them to you. That's how much he cares for you. And then he just got, does one more thing, kind of like icing on the cake. He says, I will sing in the, in the congregation, in the congregation I will sing your praise. So, so Jesus comes to our church and he preaches through pastors and he sings through worship leaders. And, and, and really, in a sense, he's speaking th- through through the Holy Spirit to us, but he's also singing worship. Jesus is present, not only present in our worship, watching it, but he's singing the name and the glory of his Father. That That should make our church services look, feel, and be a little bit different, a little bit better.